It's Declutter with Christy. So if you don't know, I'm selling Mary Kay again. I had moved, so I stopped selling it. Now I moved back and I'm selling it again. And I love it because I get 50% off as a rep. And then I get to share all the fun things. Um, and you know me, I will only be sharing things I love. So far, everything I've tried, which I'm familiar with their makeup, but you know, formulas change. So I've retried everything for the most part. If there's anything that I haven't, I will not recommend it. And if I don't like something like a brush might not be my favorite. Like this morning I used my Bobbi Brown brush. I love that guy. So I don't think anything can beat that. So we'll see, but you know, I'm always honest with you guys. So, but I want to do a declutter because I have those stuff. I have cups of just stuff and I feel like, oh, now I can get rid of it because I like, I love their foundation. Um, their CC cream I like. I'm going to, I only put that on once, so I'm going to test that out a little longer. So I'm going to keep one of my, well, this I'm always going to keep. So this is what I use, especially in the summer and it's SPF 46. So this is always going to be in my bag, but I, I do like the CC cream so far. I only tried it once though. So I always like to try things for like a week foundation. I've tried a lot. I like it. I love it. I love their powders. I love their, their eyeshadows. Um, even their light colors are like decent with the pigment. Um, you know, sometimes that can be tricky, like their mascaras and they have different formulas. So there's one for like the thicker look that I usually tend to like. So let's, Let's just dive in. I'll stop jabbering, but you you guys know I will always be honest if I don't like a product or not. So I really like their, I was kind of hesitant, but I really like their eyebrow. I don't have it on today because I just did a very natural look um, tutorial that is on YouTube already. But I was using NYX and this is, this is good. I'm not saying there's any hate on NYX. It's got like a nice little brush for the one that we have. And of course I don't have it in my hand right now. Hold on, let me see if I can get it. Um, the one we have kind of fills it in better. This definitely gets the, the hairs, which is nice. But ours, sorry. Maybe I'll do an, a separate video on that. So subscribe, like, put the notification bell on so when I'm more organized, I can find it. I don't think it's in this bag right here. So anyway it fills it in better. So I'm liking that better. So I'm going to, and that's kind of old and crusty anyway. So I'm going to get rid of that. This NARS, I like this formula. I would say my Mary Kay is just as good. And this is the too light anyway, this color. I thought I was paler than I was. Um, they're definitely getting rid of this. The Clinique one, I just don't like that eyeliner. I didn't use it a lot. Scandalize, it's it's good. It's not like the best. I may keep a back, like one of those just as a backup if I run out of my Mary Kay. Um, what else we got? What else we got? Oh, here's the bra volumizing brow tint. Let me do it. I'm going to show you. So it has, you definitely have to wipe it like so the bristles don't have extra, right? But see that? And I'll put my link below if you guys want to like browse or shop, whatever. I like this one better because I feel like it actually fills in between the brows better if you have kind of sparse brows. Of course, I just kind of mess it up. Sorry. Um, where the other one can get sloppy if you, because these bristles are short, it works better. The other bristles are longer. So if you're trying to get in between it, you don't have the control you need. And I like, this color is great for, great for me. They have all different colors, obviously. Um, and you know, I could do more, but I want to spend the whole video doing that. But boom, bitty, boom. Love that. That's so funny. It's just randomly sitting in front of me. I didn't even use it. Okay. Now, Morph, Morphe, Morphe, Morphe. This is a tricky one. I think I got this. It may have been, I love this one color. But some of these others, it's like the pigment and they're powdery. That one's okay. This one bare, this is awful. Okay, so this color, you'd think it would show up, right? Look, uh, barely anything. 
I think I'm, I think I'm going to give this to my friend. I'm going to give that away. I just don't, I don't reach for it. So I'm going to get rid of that. Um, I'm just so in love with Mary Kay's lipsticks. They have super hydrating ones that I'm, this elf one, it's okay, but it's, it's kind of thicker and not as like it gets in the lines more. So I'm, I'm going to get rid of that one. Um, like I'm telling you, I'm so excited because here's what I'm not getting rid of. I have these three lipsticks I really like. And I was like, oh gosh, I just got these. I really like this formula. Let's see how Mary Kay, the newer, like, um, what do they call? It's the semi shine, like gel lipstick or something. They actually are very similar and do the same thing. They're moisturizing. They don't go into the like lines. You know how when you get older, I call them butt lips where you start to get the little lines. Um, <laughs> I'm disgusting. And I was like floored at how similar and I mean, just as good as those they are and way more colors. So I probably will not repurchase, even though I like those other ones. I, Mary Kay, I like better. And there's, like I said, a lot more colors. Um, this is the eraser. I always like to have this. I don't know that I'll use it, so we'll see. I might end up decluttering it. Um, and then the bear with me, I may keep just for shits and giggles because I have time letting, hard time letting go. I'm getting rid of both of these now. This stuff definitely lasts longer on the lips for sure. This is e.l.f. It's hydrating, but it it just doesn't last that long. And I don't love, what's it, the smell? Yeah, I don't love the smell of it for some reason. This color I don't even like, so I barely wore that one. This color I use, but it's definitely going to be replaced. So I'm getting rid of both of those. What else we got? Now I got a little cup full of fun. All right, these, I bought like a three pack of the Bad Gal Bang. Um, I'm gonna get rid of that one, it's almost out anyway. Uh, and I just got these Thrive, I'm getting rid of them. I love them, I almost did a video, but I don't think I did. Because by the time I was gonna do the video, I realized my eyelashes were falling out. No, thank you. The Bad Gal Lash, I'll keep for now, because I'm gonna play with um, Mary Kay is a thicker formula, like for, it's more voluminous. So I'm going to do, use that a couple more times to see if I'm definitely happier with that than this. So we're going to keep those for now. Natasha Denona just doesn't stay well on me. It's sad because it's like the formula feels nice. It's a good color. And then it just doesn't, I don't know. It's so hard to say goodbye to some things. How do I say goodbye? But I don't like it. To what we had. Uh, this is an eyeshadow stick. I just, sadly, I don't use it. I tend to use powder better. I like how they blend more. Um, let's see. I do like having different color eyeliners. So I've got a couple color liners I'm going to keep because we don't have color liners. You can always use like wet shadow, but these are just easier, right? So this is Maybelline, it's like an olive color. And then these really pretty ones by Victoria Beckham. Well, I have the, hmm, this is like a bronzy color. There we go, a nice little bronze. So I'll probably keep both of those. Well, and both of the Victoria and then the Maybelline one. This, this is always fun to have. I'm gonna swatch it. This is like, it's just a good like highlight you can stick in there. I just love it. I'm not, look at me. ADD, focus Christy, declutter. Another one of the julep things. They're not bad, but I just don't reach for them. Bye. So I have the Scandalize. Okay, I had two, these are like, these are old too. Um, I'll keep the newer one. I'm going to keep the newer Scandalized just because um, the Too Faced, I didn't love. They don't, they just don't stay on the waterline very well. And then the Line Stiletto, I, that has gone a little downhill to me. I was still using it, but I was looking for another line, eyeliner. Now I have it, but I only have one, so I'll keep it for backup if, because sometimes it's hard to tell how much is left in these things, so I'll keep it as a backup, but... I'll probably just order, also order another Mary Kay one. 
All right, so what else we got? Oh, this is zoo, zoo, zoo. This is a Morphe thing I ordered for Christmas. And I have not, I literally have like not touched it. I feel like I should give that away to someone who will, I don't know why. I just, the, I th wait, was this the free one? One of them came free with my purchase, but I'm just, I'm just not a fan. That's going over there to be given away. Um, oh wait, why do I have like 90 bad, why do I have four bad gal? I think I ordered three from, um, oh my God, this, this top is broken. Well, that's trash. Um, I think I ordered three from QVC when I was like, yes, I love bad gal and it's good. It's very hard to get off. The, um, Mary Kay is easier to get off. So I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Like I said, I'll see how my, I like my Mary Kay. Um, if, and I go through, I, I go through mascara so quickly. It's like, this is, this is it cosmetics. I do like this nude glow. I like, do I like it enough to keep it. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll keep it just because, just because I probably won't reach for it, but you know, certain things this is why we have to declutter we have clutter issues definitely forever oh, oh my god my ottoman just got foundation on it um definitely this is a backup of my steela kitten eyeshadow that's like my baby i will never ever be without that of course um it's gorgeous gorgeous i'm gonna keep um my old standby charlotte tilbury's i won't be repurchasing them but i will finish them Becca Highlight, yeah, queen, clearly. That's, those are from a special, special nights out. Um, you know, I don't, I don't reach for this. Maybe I'll just see if I do this spring. I mean, I, I wore it a little last spring. And then the cream, I do, um, I don't think we have cream blushes. We have powder blushes, but so I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep my cream blush. And then my RMS Beauty stuff, yes, I'm, I'm keeping all this. This is like a concealer, which sometimes if I've had a hard night, a hard life, I'll put this like almost as a corrector under, but I will say this isn't the best as I put it on. Um, I had a hard night last night. If you didn't hear, go watch my other video. It's a rough night. And this is a, um, a cream highlight, which I really like. And then this is just like, it, I don't know. I think it has a whole cult following. It is just this beautiful red color that looks good on anybody. It's a lip to cheek. So you can use it on your lips, on your cheek, if you just want like subtle, and then you can build it up too. Um, it is... It's gorgeous and I love it. So no one's taking that out of my hands. Not even Mary Kay. Okay. Um, Rockator blush, another diehard fan of this. Do I, well, I don't know if I'll repurchase this. Oh, wait, do they stop making it? I feel like they might've stopped making it anyway. Um, these hourglass, I'm always gonna, I'm always gonna keep you. They have, they have some really pretty blushes in this one. The powders are kind of light for me, surprisingly. Um, and then this hourglass, I've used a, I've used a lot more, you can tell. Um, so I'll be, I'll be keeping both of those. This is like this packaging. Can I, I can't even get rid of it because of packaging. So these are more fun colors, right? I'm definitely keeping that. Definitely. Um, I have used this recently. I have to look through all the Mary Kay colors. Um, but I use that sometimes if I want a gray look, which is, I don't wear gray that often, but there's a gray in there that really like looks good with, um, and these are fun too. I'll keep these. Um, looks good with green eyes. That's by Morphe, right? Troublemaker. And the other one was Metal Rebel by Sephora. And then... ColourPop, Smoke and Roses, just kind of disappointed. 
there was such a variety of color. I'll probably keep it just for like maybe um, embellishments of an eye look that I already have because they're not, they're just not the, the best. I don't feel like they're the best, but if you're on a budget and you want a bunch of colors, yeah, not bad. All right, so I'm keeping, I figured that most of that basket I would keep. Now, I think that's it. Hold on. Yep. Oh, and definitely keeping my gloss. This is like a clear gloss. I have, there's a Mary Kay clear gloss too, I think. But this I put on at night as a clear gloss, like to moisturize. And sometimes I'll add it on top of a lipstick. But these, I like the finish of even the lipsticks. It's got its own little sheen. It's not like super shiny like gloss, but we have glosses too that are shiny. Um, so I'm going to definitely keep that. Anything else? No, I think that's it. So let's see what we threw away. Look at my trash can. Yay. Bye-bye. If you want more declutters, let me know. I know I fell off my declutter challenge. Sorry, I failed my own challenge. <gasps> isn't that fun? But that's, a, that's me. Like, isn't that kind of like, yeah. That sounds about right. There was a squirrel, and so Christy ran away and did something else. It was joining Mary Kay. I'm like, declutter, declutter. Oh, Mary Kay, makeup? Yeah, wee. And I'm doing my certification, which is intense. Um, speaking of which, email me, fiercemamac at gmail, if you are interested in getting a free session with me. I have to do 40 hours of external practice with my somatic healing. You're like, what is that? It's healing from the body. So instead of like the mindset coaching, which I do, obviously, it is, it's like healing from the from the body. So it's like, it can be breath work, tapping, like whatever, if you have a specific thing you wanna do, we can do it, or I guide you through meditation, that sort of thing, to help heal your body from the inside out, and it's amazing. So email me if you're interested, um, I'm trying to do mostly hour long so I can get them done faster because <laughs> it's a lot, 40 people. And then I also have to do, I think 20 people that are in my program. Um, we have to do each other and like do 20 hours of that. So it's, it's an intense program I'm going through on top of everything. So I, I squirreled out of the challenge, but if you're interested, email me fierce, M-A-M-A, -M -A, like mama, C, at Gmail and say, interested in somatic healing? Yes, yes, bring it on queen. And we can spend an hour together just, I mean, relaxing. And maybe some stuff will come up, but it's like you you kind of lead where you wanna go. If you don't wanna go into like a dark place, no, I'm just kidding. If you don't wanna go into, you know, the deeper stuff, we don't have to. It's like literally, you we're collaborating to make you feel better or if there is something you want to heal from we get to start that journey and address it it's so cool this work is so amazing so um let me know if you're interested in that all right all the fun i got a lot to do today so i'm going to say my deuces and see you in the next video